Hey guys, it's Steph and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a half high-end, half drugstore makeup look. So basically, one side of my face is gonna be hella expensive using the more high-end products and then the other side I'm gonna be showing you guys some dupes, dupes that I found over the past few years of being on YouTube that's gonna be way more affordable. This could be a long one because technically I guess I'm doing two different makeup looks. I mean I'm using double the product so grab yourself a drink and let's get into it. Quick side note because I did promise them I'd do this on the next video that I filmed and they've just reminded me because the notifications are going off right now so I'm gonna put my phone on silent but my little group chat that I've got going on on Twitter, my QB queens, Segway Steps, Janet, Gertie, Melvin, Parallel Cows, if you know, you know, I love you guys. So first of all, we have a new headband today. We're, oh my God, my face does not fit in that. All right, let's get this hair out the face. So I have already moisturized my skin and everything like that, but I am still gonna be going in with an oil primer. So what I have here is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil. This was, sorry if I keep looking down, by the way, I have got all the prices written down in my notebook. This is 30 pounds, and then to dupe that, I've got the Obsession Baking Primer Oil, which is eight pounds. So I think we'll maybe, maybe we'll make this side the high end. I'm just gonna apply some of that to my skin. I'm just gonna press that in. You can use this as a moisturizer or like a facial oil. It doesn't really do too much in terms of like getting rid of pores or anything like that. It does just make you look extra glowy, adds a bit of hydration. Like they're both, they're both oil consistencies. They both sink into the skin nicely. The, the Smashbox one, it does seem to sink in a little bit quicker, but, but if time isn't an issue, then you know, they are pretty much the same. So you may have noticed that I didn't use the oil in the center of my face, like on my nose and kind of right in the center of my chin because the next dupe I have is for a pore filling primer. So what we have here, the high end one is the Benefit Professional, which is 27 pound 50. And then to dupe that, we have the NYX pore filler primer, which is 11 pounds. And again, these guys, pretty much identical and I think, yeah, you get pretty much the same amount. This one's 20 mil, this one's 22, so very, very similar. So I'm sure you guys all know the deal with Porefessional. Um, it does literally just like fill in all of your pores. I like to press it into my skin and kind of tap it into my pores, just find it works a whole lot better. And then we'll move on to the next one. This one is slightly drier, like it's, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's kind of got more of like a drier consistency, but it works exactly the same when it comes to filling in your pores. I just like to warm it up on the back of my hand and then press that in. Pores are nice and filled. And already, already this side is costing nearly 60 quid. This side ain't even costing 20 quid yet. So we're already saving some monies. Drink break, drink break. Well, I put way too much squash in there. Oy. Next up is foundation. So what I have here is a Stila Stay All Day Foundation. This is the old packaging. I actually got this at TK Maxx for I think like a fiver, six quid or something like that, but I haven't seen it recently. They have got new packaging. And if you were to pick this up in the new packaging, this will set you back 29 pounds 50. So not the cheapest foundation in the world. And the foundation I have to dupe that is the Gosh Foundation Plus, which is 9.99. And believe it or not, these actually both contain the same amount of product. They both contain 30 mil. I think the new packaging does have a concealer on top. I don't know, but um, I think that's the only real difference for the new packaging. This foundation is also a really good dupe for Milani 2-in-1, even though they are pretty similar in terms of price. I mean, this one's a lot easier to get if you are in the UK. You can just pick it up if you go into Superdrug. So just a heads up, if you want Milani, can't get your hands on it, give this a go. So the shade I have in the Stila foundation is Caramel and I actually don't have any fake tan on today. I've got a natural tan for once, which is why I've got some like seriously dodgy tan lines on my boobs. But hopefully, hopefully this will be the right color. I have a feeling it might be a little bit too dark for me, but we'll make it work. So I'm gonna take a little pump of that. That's probably too much. Take that on my Zoeva buffer brush. This might be too dark for me now. This might be too dark for me now. Oops, my natural tan is a lot less golden than my fake tan. So, huh. I'm just gonna blend that like all the way down my boobs, I think. This foundation has bomb coverage and it's like super dewy and everything as well. I'm just gonna blend it down like my entire chest, I think today, you know, just so we can match a little bit better. So then we'll move on to the Gosh Foundation, which as you can imagine, this being a dupes video is pretty much identical as far as I'm concerned. Let's see what the color's like. Ooh, that's a bit lighter. 
That colour's way better for me. And this, by the way, is in the shade 006. Oh, I'm gonna be so much darker on one side of my face today. So I don't know if you guys can see, but they both look pretty damn similar. Like, colour's a little bit off, but we can sort that out in a minute, but... They're very similar. Very, very similar. So next we'll move on to my favourite concealer, which is, of course, It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. Shocker, I know. So this guy retails for £23.50. It is worth it, but I do understand that it is very, very expensive. So the dupe that I have here is the Model Zone Cover It Concealer. Very, very similar and costs £8.99. I use this in medium, I use this one in medium tan, and the colours are pretty much identical. So I'm gonna pop that under my eyes, hopefully lighten this foundation up a little bit. This is actually the first time I'm using this since going away. I didn't have this when I was on holiday, and oh boy, did I notice. But like... Dark circles? What freaking dark circles? Like, look, so similar. And it is a very, very shiny concealer, just a heads up, so make sure you powder the crap out of this. Next, we'll move on to a dupe that I'm sure everyone is very familiar with now, which is, of course, Tarte Shape Tape and the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. This is £22, this is £4, and they are, they are very, very similar. You do get a lot more product in Tarte Shape Tape but it does still work out cheaper to get the um, the Makeup Revolution one. So in Shape Tape, I'm Light Neutral. In Makeup Revolution, I'm C5. Look at that, I actually have two of the exact same buffer brushes as well. Can we do it like, same time? Okay, maybe not. Maybe just stick to one brush for a minute. And then I've got a little friend up here. A couple of friends around here. I've got my window open, and there's a fly that keeps like buzzing around my head, and it's really pissing me off. Next, I'll move on to cream contouring. I don't really feel like I need to do this right now, but I'm gonna do it anyway, because obviously the more dupes, the better. So what I'm gonna be using on the more expensive side is the Iconic London Pigment Sticks. This is in the shade uh, Icon 4. And this, I believe, is $24.99. So that's that shade there. You can use these as foundations as well, but I like to use it as cream contour. And then for the other side, I have the Lottie London All About That Base, which is also a foundation. But again, I use this as a cream contour. And the shades are pretty damn similar. The one I use in Lottie London is Rich Toffee. And this costs $7.95. So I'm just going to do a little bit of this because I definitely don't need to darken myself up too much. Lottie London on that side. You can see colours are very, very similar. A little bit up here. Da -da. And obviously since they're both foundation sticks as well, they do add a little bit of coverage if that's what you need. So next we'll move on to one of my favorite things to do, which is of course liquid highlighting. So what I have for this is the Cover FX Highlighting Drops. These are 34 pounds. So expensive, so good, but so expensive. And the dupe that I have are the Revolution um, Liquid Highlighter Drops. This one's in the shade Liquid Champagne. The Cover FX is in the shade Moonlight. Very, very similar colors, love them both. But the Cover FX, like I said, is 34 pounds. Revolution is six pounds, I believe. Yeah, six pounds. Ah, I'm just gonna pop that on my cheekbones. Here, Cupid's bow, and tiny little tip of the nose, just like that. And then same for this side. Looking at these now, you actually get more in the Revolution than you do cover effects. So I think it's time we powdered my shiny ass face down. So I actually struggled with finding a dupe of a powder that I liked, but I did end up finding one that is pretty similar. So what I have on the expensive side is the Kat Von D Locket Translucent Setting Powder. This is the mini size, but I will put like the full size prize up on the screen now. And then to dupe that, I have the RCMA Translucent Powder. Not the no color one, the translucent one, because as you might be able to see, they are very, very similar in terms of color. Kat Von D does lean ever so slightly more to like a yellow undertone, but I mean, by the time you blend them out, there really is like, there really is no difference because they do just blend out into translucent powders. And the finish is pretty damn similar as well. So the Kat Von D for the full size costs 22 pounds and the RCMA costs 13 pounds. So not the biggest saving, but you do get a hell of a lot more product in the RCMA. So I'm just gonna go in with the Kat Von D on this side. So then I'm gonna take the RCMA powder and I am gonna put it in my Kat Von D lid purely because, I mean, this packaging is just ridiculous. So I ain't cheating, I'm just improvising. So I'm gonna take some of that. Do the same with my under eyes there. So that's powder done. I don't know if you guys are gonna even be able to tell a difference, but the only real difference I'd say is that this one is ever so slightly more matte, so 
kind of depends on what you want. But I do slightly prefer the Kat Von D, but it's still a pretty close dupe and obviously hell of a lot cheaper. Next, we're gonna move on to contour. Now, some of you guys that follow me on Twitter, which you can just find up here, you may have heard the news that I lost my beloved Too Faced chocolate bronzer. I was at the airport and I had my clear plastic bag of makeup and I left it there. But Too Faced very, very kindly sent over a brand new one. Thank you guys so much. And this is actually new packaging. I was like, when I saw it, I was like, this is not, this is not my chocolate bronzer. Look how fancy their packaging is now. Oh, I've missed that smell. I've been without this for like three or four weeks and my life has been bleak. So, so happy to have this back. Thank you guys. So this cost 25 pounds and I mean, this is my favorite bronzer of all time. It is so worth it. But I do get that not everyone wants to spend 25 quid on a bronzer, even though it smells great. So the dupe that I have, it is in a palette, which isn't ideal, I know, but this is the closest that I found to it. It's the Milk Chocolate Shade in the Primark Chocolate Cheek Palette, which costs four quid. So essentially, each one of these powders costs a pound, and they are actually really, really good powders anyway. Like the highlighters, a bit powdery, but really, really nice. Like... It's really, really pretty and the blushes are nice as well, but this is like the closest dupe that I found to this bronzer. I am so excited to use this again. So I'm just gonna take some of that on my brush. Oh, it's even better than I remember because let's face it, mine was old, so probably wasn't working the way it should do. Oh, I have missed you chocolate bronzer. I missed you so much. Not gonna lie, looking at my skin, I actually kind of prefer the more affordable side right now. Just looks a lot more flawless. So then move on to this guy here. It's not as pigmented, but I mean, it, it's four pounds. Next, I actually have two different bronzers. I couldn't decide which one to show you guys, so I thought I'll just show you both. So the first one I have is my very, very expensive YSL bronzing stones, which I love. I recently discovered this and I love it, but it's 36 pounds. And then the dupe that I found that recently is this guy from Poundland, which you guessed it, costs a pound. Like, let me just show you the next to each other. Like, can we see the kind of similarities here? This one does have a little bit of shimmer to it, but it doesn't translate on the skin at all. Like, if I just swatch them for you, they are very, very similar. Just build that up onto my cheeks a little bit. And then the matte bronzer from Poundland, same brush. Like, they're so bloody similar. And you're literally saving 35 pounds if you get the Poundland one, like, it's ridiculous. So then the next dupe that I found is for the Urban Decay Beach Bronzer, which is another one of my new favorites. This is 23 pounds, and if I just open this up, looks like that. I'll just show you guys the bronzers in comparison because this is obviously the Poundland one. The Urban Decay one is more of like a neutral, the Poundland one is a little bit more warm toned. And the dupe that I found for that comes from Primark, this is Two pounds, and this is the Bronze Queen Matte Bronzer from their bronze collection. There we go. So I'm just taking a little bit of the Urban Decay one. I'm just gonna bronze up the rest of my face. Nothing too crazy. And then back in with the Primark one. So nice. Next, we'll move on to highlighter, which I know you've all been waiting for. So the dupe I have, and it's still to this date one of my favorite dupes, is for the MAC Oh Darling Highlighter, which I love. And then we have the Kiko Water Eyeshadow in the shade 208. So this is obviously Maxo Darling. This is £25.50. This is the Kiko one, and this is £8.90. So still, like, for an eyeshadow, not the cheapest thing in the world, but for a highlighter, and probably one of the best highlighters I've come across, it's worth the money. So I'm gonna take some Oh Darling and hit the high points on my face. Hell. Yeah, it's literally like one of the smoothest highlighters ever. Then we have this guy. Brace yourselves because literally, literally so similar. There's literally like no difference at all between them. Next, we'll move on to blusher. So what I have here is a Makeup Forever blusher, which costs 18 pounds. This is in the shade, uh, I forget what shade this is in actually, but I'll definitely leave a link to it down below. And then the dupe that I have for that is the Natural Collection Blush Cheeks Blusher in the shade Peach Melba. This guy is 18 pounds, this one is 1.99, so a massive saving there. This one does look a little bit more shimmery in the pan, but I promise you on the skin, like, they pretty much do look identical. 
So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that using my bronzer brush again and just whack that on my cheeks. And then we'll take this guy here, the natural collection one and do the same on this side. They don't really look that similar when you just look at them, but like on the cheeks, you can see like there's barely any difference. Next, it's time to sort these brows out. So what I have here are two different pomades. The first one is the Cabral by Benefit, which costs £20.50. Yep, £20.50. And then to dupe that, I have the Obsession Brow Pomade, which again, is very, very similar to the Revolution one as well. Same kind of formula. This is £6. I've got this one in medium brown and this one in shade number four. I'm gonna take my little wing liner brush. My Benefit one is drying out a little bit, but it's still good, it's still good. So what I like to do is just put that on the back of my hand and just kind of sharpen out the brush a bit. And I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in few little sparse areas of my brow. So then I'm gonna use a different brush and I'm gonna go in with the Obsession Brow Pomade, which is in a lot better shape than my Benefit one. The only other difference with this is that the Benefit one does last a lot longer on your skin. It is a little bit more waterproof, but they definitely do give the same kind of effect. Then for brow gel, I've got another product from Benefit, which is of course their Gimme Brow or Gimme Brow Plus that is now known as. This is £20.50 as well. And the dupe that's not the same but a very, very similar kind of effect is the Maybelline Fiber Filler, which I use all the time. And this guy costs, let me look at my notes, $7.99, so a whole lot cheaper. So if you don't know the hype with Gimme Brow, it basically tints your brows and adds fibers, so makes your brows look a little bit more full, a little bit more kind of textured. And then the Maybelline one has a completely different wand, but it's the same kind of idea. It does add fibers. Like it's the weirdest wand ever, but it surprisingly works. So let's just pop that on my brows. So then for eyes today, I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. So of course, I had to feature the I Heart Revolution, um, whatever it's called, Salted Caramel Chocolate Palette. These are literally like, I don't know how they get away with it, but these are so similar. The only difference is that instead of putting the longer shade like second on the top row, they've just put it in the top corner, but that's literally the only difference. Like, can you see any other differences? Cause I pretty much can. So just to save time, I'm not gonna do like a too in-depth eye tutorial today because I mean, you guys are here for dupes, you ain't here for an eye look. Um, but what I'm gonna do is take coconut cream and just pop that all over my lids because I haven't actually set them yet. Get rid of any creasing, just pop that all over. So I'm then gonna go in with the shade Mousse and uh, just work that into my crease on a fluffy brush. Then gonna go in with the corresponding shade down here from Revolution. Same brush, but again, I am dusting these off in between each shadow so that I'm not cheating or anything. Think I will then go in with Pudding and I'm gonna pop that all over the outer corner. Might bring it in in a minute, but for now, for now I'm just doing it here. And again, just kind of work that into my transition. And then this little guy here. This side's a little bit more patchy, but I just need to spend a little bit more time blending. Just gonna take put in again and just smoke out my lower lash line. And then just blend that out with a fluffier brush here. Take this guy. And then I think I might take the shade Frosting, it's like a metallic kind of brown, and put that kind of all over the center and inner corner, and then maybe bring my highlight shade in a little bit more. And then this guy here, which I've actually never used before, so this could be interesting. Okay, this one. Yep, this also looks pretty much exactly the same. By the way, no fallout with either. Nailed it. Go over my brow bone again. Just using the like bigger highlighting shade from both palettes. I mean, apart from it looking a little bit more patchy here, and I think the Revolution side being ever so slightly more cool toned, I can barely tell a bloody difference. Next for mascara is another one of my favorites, the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. So as I'm sure a lot of you guys know, this is an amazing dupe for the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I actually kind of prefer the L'Oreal one. The Too Faced one costs, 19 pounds, 19 pounds for this bad boy, and the L'Oreal one is 11.99. So not the cheapest mascara in the world, but I do usually tend to find that you can pick it up for like nine pounds or something. So I'm gonna start with the Too Faced one. And just pop that on my lashes. L'Oreal, this is actually a brand new one, which I am so stoked for. I do, I just prefer the L'Oreal one. 
So next, I've got some falsies, and I actually only discovered this the other day, but I found a pretty banging dupe for the Huda Giselle lashes, which are some of my favorite. These are £13, these are £3.99, and they are the Red Cherry uh, Wispy Lashes. Excuse how minging these are, they have been used many, many times, and these are brand new, but I'll make sure I show you guys a close-up in the cutaway. They are very, very similar. So I'm just gonna go ahead, glue these bad boys up, and then we'll stick them on. All right, so these are the Huda ones, so I'm gonna pop these on. And then we've got the red cherry ones, which I did just cut down to size. Oh man, they really aren't far off. I feel like the hooded ones are a little tiny bit more wispy, but you could always do the little like lash trick where you rough them up with a spoolie, but God damn, these are, these are very similar. Well, thank God for that, because I've got to go out to dinner later and I was thinking, wait, I'm going to be wearing two separate lashes. So, so I was a little worried that they weren't going to match, but I don't think anyone will notice. So then for lips, we are of course gonna be doing a nude today. So I've got a MAC lip liner, which costs 14 pounds. And then we've got this Miss Sporty liner, which costs 1.99. So the MAC one I'm using today is in the shade Strip Down, which is one of my faves. And then the Miss Sporty one I have is in the shade, bear with me, bear with me, coffee. Should probably have sharpened this one before I decided to use it. And then going with this guy. The Miss Sporty one is a little bit cooler than stripped down, but they're not too far off at all. And then for lipstick, I've got one from Too Faced. This is the one of their peach lipsticks in the shade Sure Thing. And the dupe that I have for that is from Primark. This is their uncovered lipstick. It's from their nudes collection. Too Faced is £19. Primark is £1.50. And then that side. So then I wasn't sure if I was gonna do this, but I thought I may as well just quickly mention it for the sake of it. Liner dupes, we have the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, which costs 17 pounds. And then to dupe that is another one of my favorite liners. This is the NYX Epic Ink Liner, and this costs nine pounds. I'll just, I'll just do a couple of swatches on the back. These are both near the end of their life, so they might not be looking their best, but they are so, so similar. So just for the sake of it, I'm just gonna line my lash line a little bit. Nothing major, just just a little something to say I've used it. Cap one D there, and then a NYX on this side. And then just to finish everything off, we have two different setting sprays. Not the same, similar finish, Urban Decay. It does work a lot better. This is like my holy grail setting spray, but I do bloody love this one. It's the NYX Dewy Setting Spray, which is seven pounds. This guy is 24, so big jump in price. Just give that side a couple sprays, and then this side, and there we have it. So you guys, this is the finished look, and I did just do the mass, and the more high-end side, it adds up to 526 pounds and 99 pence. That's a whole lot of money. And then on the more affordable side, it totals up to 145 pounds and 27 pence, so a hell of a lot cheaper. As always, if you guys enjoyed this video, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you don't see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But apart from that, that's it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye. As always, let me know what you think of this look in the comment section down below and let me know if you have any other drugstore dupes that you think I need to know about. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you don't see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But apart from that, that's it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.